Hey, well, this is pretty interesting. Today it was 10 Celsius hotter in our Ottawa than anything on record. And uh, I guess they didn't have any jets spewing contrails, chemtrails, geoengineering trails, but that's probably because they've been out here in BC the last three or four days flying straight over East Vancouver at low altitudes, three, 4,000 feet, and uh, out on the shore spraying clouds and creating cloud cover to drop the temperatures as they have dropped and cold rain has set in. So here we have the uh, Environment Canada report on why it's so warm. BC will enjoy a typical spring weather unlike the rest of Canada which may bask in warmer than normal conditions. Now that El Nino has started to break down we are getting back to our normal patterns says Vancouver based Environment Canada meteorologist Dave Ray. Generally we should be fine. So hey Dave, uh, so you're denying that contrails I guess are affecting the weather in Vancouver and our region and uh, I guess you don't uh, believe the BBC's global dimming reports and uh, you know the fact that scientists have proven that contrails radically affect the weather and have it kept Vancouver quite cool even though it's been trying to break out with heat waves and the clear blue skies and you can tell by the temperatures that we get up to here in Vancouver on days that are clear lately all winter basically so let's continue Ray said that the where said that whereas Vancouver suffered wetter than normal weather from El Nino in January and February March was much closer to normal now if you remember January and February we were still praying for snow for most of the events so I'm not sure what the hell he's talking about this guy is totally lost so deep in bullshit that he doesn't even know what reality is anymore Rainfall from March at Vancouver International Airport was 108 millimeters compared to with a 30-year average of 111.8 millimeter, millimeters. And millimeters here, he has an S on the end of it, which I'm not too sure if that's millimeters or something different. But Average temperature in March was 7.63 Celsius compared to with a historical average of 6.6. So we've gone up one Celsius, which is what the temperature increase was in the U.S. when the plane stopped leaving contrails slash chemtrails slash geoengineering trails after 9-11 for three days and went up one Celsius. Ray said Environment Canada's season, seasonal forecast for April, May, June show most of Canada having warmer than normal temperatures. I bet you he checks out the Soho site and understands that the sun affects global warming more than humans and uh, can predict that. And I predict that we'll have no more than three to four days of clear skies without jets arriving and spreading contrails, chemtrails, geoengineering trails, chemical particulate all over the coastline of Vancouver and have that drift in and cover our sunny days this summer. As well as Toronto, I predict that uh, since they've started up uh, crisscross patterns in Toronto as well. The only exceptions are most of BC, but not the Queen Charlotte's or in northern BC, northeastern BC, plus southwest Alberta. And this guy who wrote this was D I N W O O D at the province dot com, Dinwood <laughs> at the con at the province dot com, and it's Damien Inwood, staff reporter shoveling out this propaganda from Environment Canada who denies that jets affect the weather despite chemtrails being sprayed for the last year and a half and over a hundred days I have on tape of these chemtrails slash contrails for those pilots that want to defend them uh, spreading out and blocking the sun and causing overcast conditions in Vancouver systematically and that they could change routes if they really did not want to affect the weather this way and those jets could be out of sight if they weren't required to be in the public site to uh, obscure the sun's impact on our warming. So that's my take on Warm Spell Skips BC and uh, Dave Ray of Environment Canada Meteorology. Dude, you need to go look at some geoengineering proposals and then look up at the planes that have no markings and are leaving these huge powdery clouds behind them that spread out. Now, none of these people have children that are breathing this shit unbelievable. Not the Canada that I ever was taught about. <laughs>